We're here at Marymount High School, right behind the football stadium and the soccer stadium, and we're here with the boys coach. Eric Vonix is here with us today, coach, and I uh, want to get a little bit of an update on what's going on through the, the fall season. We're more than halfway through. In fact, we're heading down the home stretch yep, yep. of the season. Let's talk a little bit and recap what, what's happened thus far. A uh, bit of a slow start for us. Uh, first week of the season, I think we went 0-1 and uh, 0-2 and 1. Uh, two losses, one win, uh, one tie. Not the best start to the season. Uh, but the boys kind of put their nose to the grindstone, went through the uh, went through everything we needed to do, and we're six one and two over the last. Uh, well, let's see, was that nine games? So, kind of put everything together. Uh, some some really quality results in there. We played Alter, who last year lost in the state semis. Ooh. For D2, return most of their players, tied them 1-1 here. Uh, the boys really just, they, they, they're fun to work with. They work hard. They uh, doesn't matter what I ask them to do, they're willing to do it. It's sort of that yes coach mentality. So uh, sky's the limit there. Yeah. Uh, you can't ask for more than that if they're asking you what they can do. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and, like, it doesn't matter where we ask them to play. We've, made, we've moved some guys around, you know, new positions for them. And I love the response, two of them. Probably two of our better offensive players. We moved them onto the back line, and they said, "Coach, whatever the team needs." And when you're working with that kind of mentality, yeah. it it kind of fires you up to come to work every day. So, and, and that's a very unselfish thing to do, and especially for young kids like that too. The fact that they can come to you and say that. Exactly, and you know what? Like some of the guys, like a lot of times we meet in my room before a game, and we'll talk about things. And some of the guys will send me a clip, like, "Coach, what do you think about watching this?" And one of the ones that really struck me was Inky Johnson. It's not about you. And I'm like, that's coming from a kid. That's coming from a 16, 17-year-old kid who recognizes the importance of team and that you're not the only one, that there's all these others involved. So you get them to be a little, you know, unselfish. And, and uh, that's kind of you like seeing them grow as young men. So. We are actually talking to you on a game day. So first of all, I appreciate you coming out here and talking to us <laughs> on a game day. And not only is it a game day, but probably your arch rival, Wyoming, uh, coming up later on tonight. And that that's the the team always up there on the top it seems like in all the sports uh they are and actually over the, i think over the last five seasons only two schools have won the chl title marymont or wyoming nice, nice. i gotta give props to Badira because right now they're in pole position but wyoming well they're tied with wyoming but wyoming has us and in indian hill next week um we would love we would love to have a great night tonight. And I told the boys, I said, go out to play loose. You know, it's Wyoming's home, tur home turf. They're the ones sitting in pole position right now with Madeira. You guys got nothing to lose. Yeah. They're the ones with the title on the line to lose. So we'll go out free and relax and see what happens. Sometimes out in that outside lane, that's not a bad place to be. So Honestly, yeah, yeah, <laughs> round in the corner coming in. They don't know you're coming. That's, that's kind of what we're hoping for. So Let's talk a little bit about a few of the players. Uh, you mentioned a couple of the, the players that were some of your better offensive guys have moved to the defensive side. Let's, let's make sure we get their names out there. Uh, Josh McClory, Bates Skull. Uh, Josh is an all-city player, uh, center mid. Uh, he's our captain. Uh, and, and ideally, looking at the season, you would have said everything is going to flow through him and he's going to wow. distribute. We had Bates kind of slotted in as, as probably our top forward, the deepest guy in the field kind of wreaking havoc on their defenses. Both of them have a defensive background. So when we said, okay, let's kind of shift alignment and we moved a guy from center back to forward, Connor Ridge, uh, he'd been playing center back. We moved him forward. Corbin Shoemaker was a defender last year. He's a central midfielder. And all these guys, they just have this mentality of, what can I do for the team? How can I best help the team? And, and you know, uh, we also got newcomer Luke Brothers, who's just been, I mean, he's, Luke's a joy to watch. We got, we got super sophomore sensations. Luke Brothers and uh, Kyle Kroll are both offensive powerhouses that kind of allowed us to move those two other guys deeper uh, because we knew those two could kind of create havoc up top. Up top so, and they are. Uh, and those two guys both have five goals uh, apiece, so it, at least through the latest stats. Yep, exactly. And I know Luke's got, I think, eight or nine assists, I nine. think. So, and, so they're all sharing it. And actually, Josh, even though he's center back, is our third leading scorer. Yep. So it's, it's, it's a complete team effort. You know, I don't want to overlook anyone in there. Jack Stevens isn't going to show up on the stat sheet. Neither is Andrew Mel, but they kind of control things in the middle for us. Um, and I, I hate not naming certain guys. Oh, Evan Wurtenberger in That's goal. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could tell you some of the nicknames I've heard other teams will have for him, but I don't know if they're necessarily – they're not they're not inappropriate, but I don't know if they'd offend anybody. But yeah, I totally understand. Evan's a shot stopper, put it like that. And that's all that matters. So, yeah. shot stopper, that yeah. can be the yeah. best nickname of all of those yeah. guys. Yeah, I think so, we've given up in the last couple games, I think one goal in the last four or five games. 
So, yeah, yeah. Looking at it, you had three shutouts in that stretch, a three-one win yep. over Oakwood, and a couple of one-one ties in there yep. as well. So only three goals, what, out of the last six, seven games? Yep. Yeah. So the, like I said, well, like I was saying, the future looks very bright for us right now. Uh, seeding meetings on Sunday. We'll find out who we play, what's down the line. But I. I I think right now we would take our chances against anybody. We may not be the favorite, but we also aren't going to back down from anybody over the next couple of weeks. And we look forward to we're gearing up and getting ready for the postseason. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck postseason. That's what you're gearing up for all year long, so, and, and getting these guys ready for it. And hopefully you're doing just that big game tonight. So good luck with that game for Wyoming tonight, although probably when we get this up on the site, it, the game will already be over. So hopefully we'll be uh, thinking about a good win there. So. I would agree. Sounds great. Thank you. All right, this is head coach Eric Vonick from the boys' soccer team. I'm Greg Odell from AramontSports.com. Thanks.